Hey people, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how I cook aki and saltfish seasoned rice. I am going to put coconut milk into the seasoned rice. I wish the coconut would have been drier because I prefer to use bone dry coconut when I'm cooking rice and peas, seasoned rice, coconut rice, etc. I only use the, the coconut that is not so dry to put in my porridge my stew peas and so forth so i'm using just a bump of salt fish meaning i am using just a small piece of salt fish that already soaked in water for a couple of hours and i rinse it with top water and flake it this is frozen ackies i clean the ackies wash drain and then put into a freezer bag and put into the freezer so this is cheese aki as well there are two varieties of aki in jamaica cheese and butter you don't want the butter aki trust me so all right so the same water that i cook the aki into that's the water i'm gonna cook the rice into as well so aki contains gas so I am gonna release the gas so I'm gonna pour some boiling water all over the Aki's just to release the gas after adding the boiling water to the Aki's then I'm gonna give it just a little bit of stir and then pour off the boiling water and that's it the gas release right so now I'm gonna put the Aki's into about two cups of boiling water i'm gonna add a little bit of salt and then i'm gonna add the ackees i'm also gonna add one stalk of scallion one green pepper and piece of green thyme i am also adding the salt fish then i'm gonna cover the pot and allow the ackees to cook Aki is cooked so now I am adding two cups of coconut milk and I am adding a little bit of cock soup mix this is optional but according to my husband and kids it enhances the taste of the Aki and saltfish season rice so I am adding just a little bit and then I'm gonna give it a good stir Cover the pot and allow the coconut milk to cook for like two minutes. So now I'm gonna add the rice. So I wash the rice until the water runs clear. It is very important to make sure that the liquid is at least an inch over the rice. If after adding the rice, the liquid is too much you can always remove some so now I am gonna add the rice give it a good stir and cover the pot and cook the rice oh and I'm not gonna add any butter to the pot cuz I use bone dry coconut bone dry coconut gives you the coconut flavor and it also full of oil so there is no need to add any butter yeah man that's why i like to use bone dry coconut when i'm cooking rice and peas and seasoned rice as i mentioned before and coconut rice because of the custard yeah man and the oil it makes the rice nice so now i'm gonna cover the pot as i said before and cook the rice The liquid dissolved but the rice is not yet cooked need to steam the rice so I turn the heat to the lowest settings and then I'm adding a piece of foil paper and then I'm gonna cover the pot and steam the rice for about 15-20 minutes on very low heat So after 20 minutes, the Aki saltfish season rice is done. So I turn the stove off and then I'm going to fluff the rice and remove the add pepper, the scallion and the thyme. 
It smells absolutely delicious and my family said it tastes delicious as well. So I did not eat any because I don't eat aki. So this is how I cook aki saltfish seasoned rice. You understand? If you will be following this recipe and you are using tin aki, all you need to do is to add two cups of coconut milk in a pot, pour two cups of coconut milk in a pot, add the scallion, the thyme, they add pepper and bring it to a boil and cook it for about two minutes and then you add the aki and you add salt if needed if you want you can add a little bit of the cock soup mix that is really optional and if you want you can add butter or margarine if you want you know you don't know and then you add the rice and you cook it you understand yeah man quite easy and simple